Hey Angels, it's Lookin' Bratz, aka Dom, here with a new video, and I just finished my Moa Lola review, and you've probably already seen that by now. If not, make sure to check that out as well. I am finally reviewing the Kultskaya X Bratz dolls, and I just got them in the mail from MGA Entertainment, so thank you so much for sending over this set. I got Chloe, and of course, I got Yasmin. And this isn't my first time experiencing the dolls, but it's going to be my first unboxing experience and my first time, like, actually, like, getting to, I guess, enjoy the dolls. Because when I first saw them, it was actually at the Cult Gaia X Bratz party that I got invited to back in October, which was really fun. And I got to, like, you know, see the dolls there, but I didn't really get to play around with them too much. I was just kind of using them for videos and shots for different things, but... Now I'm finally getting to actually open them and experience them, so I'm really excited because this was an exciting release this year, and I, I have to say, like, when I saw the packaging, I literally wanted to vomit because it was so good. Like, it was just, look at this packaging right here. Come on, and this artwork. Shout out to Lucy Dash. She's the artist who made this artwork and it's literally some of my favorite Bratz artwork like it's just so gorgeous and I love the color she used and I hope MGA sent her a set or is going to send her a set because she knocked it out of the park with that artwork are you kidding me so yeah I'm super excited to finally unbox them so let's actually get into the actual unboxing of it but Again, let's like look at the packaging. Let's admire the packaging before I like, I'm not gonna rip it apart because I do keep the designer packaging because I hopefully one day will be able to have more space and display them in their packaging because it's just too good to not want to display them in it. And it's to the point where you don't want to unbox them sometimes. But here we have the doll and like, it's a trapezoid shape, but it's like very like deluxe, very like luxurious. And then we have Chloe in the middle and then we have like this metallic writing and it says, thanks, it's Cult Gaia. And I've seen some variants where it just says Cult Gaia. So I don't know if it's a common variant or if maybe it was a mistake from the factories, but there's also the artwork here in the corner. And then of course it says Chloe and it says Cult Gaia X Bratz. I love the Cult Gaia Bratzified logo. I've always thought that was really cute. And we of course have Chloe and we'll get into the doll a little bit later. The packaging is so reflective that the ring light keeps catching it, but um, she has like her accessories, one of her extra outfit pieces here. She's posed to like have her hand in her pocket. We know the pockets work, so that's really cool. And then she has her second outfit here. We see the mannequin from Formal Funk in there. So that's a nice detail. And then of course there's like a tag here. It says Kokaya X Bratz. And then there is a message from Jasmine Larian who is the CEO, like creative director and founder of Cult Gaia. She's also the daughter of Isaac Larian, who is the CEO of MJ Entertainment. And Jasmine is semi-responsible for the Bratz brand being the thing because when Carter Bryant brought his designs to MGA, I initially, Isaac Larian did not like the dolls, but then Jasmine was like, wow, like I love these. So then it kind of went from there. But on the tag, it says, Growing up, Bratz was a core brand in the family business run by my father, and I was a part of it from a young age. Bratz laid the foundation for me to learn about fashion design, self-expression, and creativity, which inspired me to find my voice and create Cult Gaia. Now, it's only fitting that the family comes together with these one-of-a-kind designs. So that's a cute little message from Jasmine on there, and it's attached to this really cool handle. One of the coolest ha handle designs I think we've seen from the brand, and it's very reminiscent of the bracelet that came with Holiday Felicia last year. So it has B-R-E-T-Z in the Brett's typography, and then of course we have a little charm that's Cult Gaia. So that is really cute. And then I love the sides of the packaging, like the whole like window display, like it feels like a window display for a store, which may have been the vibe they were going for. But I love how you can still see all of the sides of it. And then of course, there's the back of the box with that gorgeous artwork. We have Yasmin, we have Chloe. And this Yasmin artwork is actually inspired by a selfie that Jasmine took once. And it says, the girls with a passion for fashion are wearing Kultskaya, the LA-based lifestyle brand known for creating obdit, obdit, ob <laughs> obdit, the art, obdit, the art. 
objet de haute. Um, sure, that will live in your closet forever. <laughs> so yes, let's actually get into unboxing her, but this box is so gorgeous, so I'm gonna have to be super extra careful to make sure that I do not damage the packaging in the process. But let's open Chloe and see what she is all about. Okay, I'm going to be honest, this is some of the most difficult packaging I've ever had to open with a Bratz doll. More difficult than the GCDS dolls, and I had a really difficult time with those dolls. But yeah, I don't know if you see like this whole like contraption here. Like if you really wanna preserve the packaging, this is the way to go. If you don't care, go for it, rip up the packaging. But for me, as someone trying to preserve the packaging, this is a little difficult. So I had to get off all the tape, like I had to cut off all the tape on all like the edges and then i had to just like basically pull this apart and then from there i think i can just like open the doll so i'm gonna work with this but i think what i'm gonna do is just cut stuff from the back here and then take the stuff out so i'm gonna try to be as careful as possible but yeah i'm a little scared <laughs> all right i think my method worked so <laughs> the box is like clean out because, like, once you can get the back pieces, like, you'd have to cut them out from the backs here. Like, then you these just come clean out, which is really nice. And then the packaging is the least damaged it can be. And just a heads up. The stand is in the compartment down here. And also the certificate of authenticity. And you can just cut it open there and then just slide it out if you don't want to get rid of this piece. Another thing I'm going to say is to be really careful removing the pieces. Make sure you're using a nail clipper, cuticle clipper, or a pair of scissors to detach the pieces. Like do not just go ripping stuff off and I know it's tempting to do that sometimes but especially with the second dress here like there are like little plastic ties in there. You're gonna wanna snip those off because if you pull, you might end up damaging the dress. So be super duper careful. We finally have Chloe out of the box and all of her pieces. And she's a cool doll. I really like her. The hair, I have to find a way to fix it. I'm probably just gonna like rinse it a little bit, maybe give it some conditioner. I'm not gonna try to like comb it or brush it too much because I really love the shape of it. I just think the curls in the back look a little messy, but I really love this hairstyle on Chloe and it's something that I think that would be really cute on like future Brad dolls as well. Like now that they know how to do like a bit more like intricate Although it's not really intricate, but like, you know, different like hairstyles. And I think it looks really good on her. She looks like very like Hollywood glamour. Like I really love that. And I actually, I've been very unsure about her first outfit ever <laughs> since I've seen her. I, I've just, you know, I think the top, I think it's a cool concept. I just don't know the practic, like, I don't know, like it's, it looks a little frumpy on her, like, I can't lie. Like, I don't know, there's something about it that just doesn't look as constructed to her body as it should be. But I think it's not a bad top, it's just, like, not my fave. I do think the outfit overall works really well together, and I love her bucket hat. It also has, like, an embroidered cult guy on it, and it has, like, it's like an ombre yellow and blue, and I think it looks really cool. Although I don't know how well this is gonna fit on her head, considering not only does she have a big head, but she also has a big head of hair. But it's a it's a cool piece, like a cool thought. It just, it kind of looks like a train conductor hat. <laughs> so let me take that off of her. The pants are really cool. The pants match everything really well. I like her bracelets and one is supposed to be like up here and then the other one should be down there. It's like very like, very cool design and I love these earrings. So we have like a gold plated here and then there's like a blue hoop connected to it and then her shoes. Okay, let's talk about the shoes because the shoes in the designer collabs always get me and these are really, really cool. I know these are all, oh, oh, the knees are really hard to bend. Okay, so note that the knees need a little, you need to break them in, yeah. Oh. And then there goes her shoe. <laughs> but yeah, these shoes are really cool. I know they're based off something from Kolkaya, and like all the outfits are based off Kolkaya pieces. I just could not tell you specifically which ones. I know this one probably came with the Kolkaya Bratz collection that came out back in March. 
but her pieces are really cool. I think the butterfly top just isn't like my fave constructed piece. piece. I just think the butterfly top just isn't my the best constructed piece, um, but it's still like, it looks really cool. And I think it like works really well with the outfit. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bucket hat. Like I probably won't leave her dressed in her first outfit, but I think for like photos and stuff, it would be nice to try the bucket hat, but it also, it's a little odd. <laughs> what's really cool is that um okay the pants are really cool and they're very like well constructed actually they have real pockets like and it looks like it has real pockets all over so let me see the back pocket is it is it function like is it real so yeah all the pockets even the back pocket like they all like you can put stuff in them so if like chloe went to the Colgaya store and she wanted to like swipe a pair of earrings she could just put it in her pants pocket <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> I love this purse, though, this bag. It opens. Okay, okay, let me show you how it looks on her arm. Because the way she wears it, it's supposed to be like this. Oh, please. Oh, I love the gold plating, too. Like, I love that detail. It's supposed to be a bit but like this, I believe. And then the bag opens, but it opens to, like, nothing. It's, I don't know why it opens. Because it's just kind of, like, flat, like a flat surface on the inside. So there's, you can't really put stuff in there. I don't know what you, you would put in there, but you just can't. This bag is really cool. This bag reminds me of something that Bratz came out with. I want to say it may have been Passion for Fashion Sasha, like First Wave. I could be wrong, but it reminds me of like that. Or maybe her dress is what I'm thinking of. I'm not sure. But it definitely is giving Bratz. And it's it's based off a Colt Gaia bag, but it's giving Bratz as well. And it has Colt Gaia like molded into it. And it's like, it's a dangly, like, I think it's a really cool bag. Like, I love that. And then she comes with her second outfit. And I love this. I think this is what I'm going to leave her dressed in when I put her up on display. But I think this is such a cute outfit. Like, I love this top. And I, I've seen this top, like, in the Coke Gaia, like, promotional pictures and stuff, like, on actual people. And I think it looks really good. I think the back is going to stress me out, like, tying it up. But I'm excited for, like, this skirt. And Yasmin has, like, a similar, like, metal dress. And this is, like, you know, like, metal-plated, like, fabric. So it's really, like, cute. And then it has a clasp here, like, a metal clasp. Which I don't mind, but I also... I had such a stressful time with GCDS Sasha's metal top. That, like, the clasp, it just really stressed me out. So I'm gonna probably have an interesting time trying to get this on her. But of course, it does come with the Formal Funk Mannequin Stand, which is a really cute detail. And the stand itself to put the mannequin on. And this also comes with the Moa Lola dolls. And I love the fact that... Not only are we getting two outfits, but we're also getting, like, a stand and we're getting the mannequin stand. Like, it's really cute details that just really make the doll even more special. And then, of course, there's the trapezoid base stand. And then you can put the doll on it via the bottom of the shoe. So you can do it. You can actually do it either way with this one. But it's really cool. I love this stand, actually. Like, this is so much more handy than the original version of the stand with the leg pegs like I hate that so much and here are her second pair of earrings which look really nice they're gold plated I love those and then her brush she of course comes with the iconic breath star brush inspired by the Mugler star and it's like a really cute transparent purple I don't know if I've ever seen like a, a translucent Bratz brush. So that's really cute. I love the color of it. I, in certain lighting, you can kind of like see all the holes, which is a little freaky if you have, you know, issues with like seeing like textures like that. But anyways, we have the certificate of authenticity and it's like, a, it looks like metal. It's not metal, but it's like a really cool cardstock paper that's being used. And it says Kolkaya X Bratz, of course. And then the back has the sticker that has Kolkaya X Bratz molded into it. And then when we open up the envelope, you can pull out the certificate of authenticity. Has that really nice thick cardstock paper. And then on it, it says certificate of authenticity. This limited edition Bratz doll has full looks designed by Cult Gaia. This certificate authenticates that your doll was carefully created and designed through the collaborative efforts of Bratz and Cult Gaia. And then of course it has the logo on it. 
I really love the branding for the Kokaya Express collabs. Like I loved the one that came out in March and I love like the colors that they used and like the aesthetics that they used. And I love the aesthetics of this one. Like it just feels like very like luxe and cool. Like I really love it. But I do think Chloe's a, a cute doll and her screening, I have to say like a lot of people don't like this screening, but it's actually one of my fave Bratz screenings. So I do believe that Kolkaya Chloe screening is very derivative of Dance Crew's Chloe screen, which again, people don't like, but I love. And they're actually, are they the same? Okay, they're almost the same, but they do have slight differences to them. But you can sort of see it. Now that I'm looking at them side by side, I don't completely see it aside from the single lash moment. And they also have like six bottom lashes. But there are some differences like the eyebrows and like the actual eye details but they are pretty close to each other although i do think that coke gaia chloe's looks a bit more like a refined version of what dance crew's chloe screening looks like and i do love her makeup like i love that lip shade i love the open mouth mold i think she's just a really gorgeous doll and i'm excited to like dress her up and play with her so that's chloe Next up, we're going to unbox Yasmin. Same packaging situation as Chloe. So we have the doll here, and then we have her second outfit. She actually does come with a second pair of shoes, which Chloe does not, unfortunately. But she also comes with, like, her boots here, and she has her bag. Like, let's actually get into her, open her up, see what she's all about. And here's, like, the sides. I'm also going to post pictures on lookingbrats.com, which... There's going to be an article on there that'll have very detailed pictures that'll show close-ups of all the accessories. So make sure to also check that out if you're watching this video. Okay, I had some trouble getting Yasmin out of the box. I accidentally damaged the box, so I just kind of ripped it open at that point and went for it. So I guess I won't have Yasmin's box for display, but at least I have Chloe's. So here is Yasmin out of the box and her hair looks kind of funny because of the way it was packaged, like off to the side like that. So I'm probably just going to wash this with dish soap and then condition it. That is my recommendation to get the hair gel out. I probably won't redo the ponytail. I think it looks pretty good as is. I may wash this out just to like have it bounce a little like that way, or maybe I'll just pull it this way. I don't know. I, I haven't figured out what I want to do with her, but her face is so good. And I think my Yasmin has one of the best placements that I've seen on the Kokai Yasmin's. And I really love her face. It's just so stunning. And she has the open mouth mold. I love her palette. This feels like quintessential Yasmin makeup look and I'm living for it. And I love like that brushed up brow. Like it just looks so, so like cute and I, I love it like it's very like in line with what cult Gaia I feel is all about and oh I never noticed this but she kind of has she's like a painted like hair coming down the sides there just like really cute details there and this face paint the screening is based off a repaint that Lolly World did so shout out to Roman for creating this screening and having to be the basis of Cult Gaia Yasmin's face. It looks so good. It almost reminds me of like Nighty Night, but a little bit more like sultrier. And I, I just really love, I love like the way it looks and the lipstick. It just looks so good. Love her. And the earrings are cool. Like they're a translucent purple. There's some like detailing on them, it seems. Like dark purple strokes of like a paintbrush. And then her top, I know this is based off something, I want to call it the Mala top, but I could be totally wrong. I, I have to be honest, at first I wasn't a big fan of her jean skirt, but I actually do like it now that I see it. Is it a skirt? Oh no, it's actually like a boy short. <laughs> and the looks are deceiving, aren't they? It's kind of like a, like the jean, like the skirt shorts. What do they call it? Skorts? <laughs> So yeah, it's really cute, and I love the shoes. So I do believe this is called the Yasmina shoe in the Kokaya collection. So very fitting for Yasmin to be wearing them. And then it has like Cult Gaia molded in on both sides of the heel there. These are really cool shoes. I will say they look a little bulky, and I think it's the body type. Like the standard Bratz body just doesn't flatter a lot of 
fashions, but I do think it doesn't look bad. It just looks a little bulky on her, but the shoes are really cool. I love those. Very like nice detailed fashion. And then we have her second fashion. Again, it comes with the formal fun mannequin and stand. And the second outfit's really cool. I like the, just like waving it like that, but it's really cool. It's like metal plated and it's like a really nicely constructed outfit. There's like a mesh like skirt and top underneath. And then it's the like little like uh, diamonds, not diamonds. I don't know. Is it like diamonds? I don't know. It's very sparkly though. Like the sparkly metallic fabric on the top. And it's, it's a really nice detailed piece. I'm excited to dress her up in this. Also, please do note that the backs of the mannequin stands are in the bottom of the packaging with the doll stand and the certificate of authenticity. So yes, I really, really love this outfit and I'm excited to put it on her. But let's get into her other accessories. So she has the ARC bag, which is a very, very popular bag that Kokaya came out with. It was like one of their first handbags, I think, or at least it was the one that like really blew up in the mid 2010s. It blew up in the mid 2010s, I believe, and it has like Kokaya on it and it looks really cool and it's made of plastic. And the one thing I will note is that Rainbow High actually came out with their own version of the ARC bag with the Accessory Studios a few months ago. I keep dropping all the bags. But here's a comparison, like a size comparison. So the Bratz one is actually smaller in comparison and the handle is a little different probably to for Bratz hands and then this one is like for Rainbow High hands since they have very different hands. But I will say I kind of prefer the coloring of the Rainbow High one a little bit better. Although this one's pretty cool, like it has like those paint strokes and it's like a darker like beige color on top of like that translucent beige. But I don't know. I think it's still a cute bag regardless. But yeah, I, I think the Rainbow High one looks a little closer to the original ARC bag. But not to say that it's the Bratz one is bad. But just as a note, she also comes with these like drop earrings. And they kind of look like little chandeliers. Those are really cute. And then she comes with this fabric bag. And it's really nice. Like I love this fabric. It's like a canvas fabric. And then there's like a fake plastic molded bamboo handle and I think that's really cool like I really love like the thought that went into that and she does come with sunglasses so those are cool and it does say Colt Gaia on the arm of course like they would never forget that detail and then she does come with a second pair of shoes and these are the same mold as Chloe's only pair of shoes but in a different color scheme and of course it says Colt Gaia there and I really do love this shoe mold. And of course she comes with a deep purple translucent brush. I love that color. And then of course the certificate of authenticity, which we talked about with Chloe. She does come with the trapezoid base stand so that you can stand the doll up. And that's really it for Yasmin. Like that's what she comes with. And I'm excited to like put her other accessories on, try out the different outfits. And I don't know if she comes with like any bracelets, like I didn't see anything, so I'm gonna say no. But she's a really cool doll, like I think she's very gorgeous. I'm excited to dress her up in that second outfit. But here she is, y'all, like this is Yasmin. Thank you so much for watching this review and thank you so much to MGA for sending these dolls to me. Like I, it's finally like time I get to experience them for myself because it's been almost two months since these dolls came out and I just, I, it's been a lot. <laughs> but I'm glad I finally have them, so thank you again. And I have to say, like, I really do enjoy the dolls. I think they're really great. Although, I don't know why, but I feel like my excitement for them almost fizzled out really fast. I think because there was so much being released at once. We had Girls' Night Out, we had Series 2, we have Cult Gaia all coming out at the same time, and then maybe like a month and a half later we have Moa Lola but the Moa Lola excitement started way before the release because they leaked early and they also got released a little too early on walmart.com so it was just a lot of um a lot of <laughs> confusion there and I think my excitement for Colt Gaia fizzled out just a bit although I still am very excited to have them and to experience them I you know I don't know how well I'm going to connect with them just based off 
the fact that I've really been excited for Moa Lola and I just opened Moa Lola and I really love those dolls. But I do really love these dolls as well and I do definitely think that it's great that we're getting really well-made quality designer dolls and I went off in my Moa Lola video so if you want to see the Moa Lola video make sure to check that out because I went off on a few things and I don't know I think I spilled but maybe I didn't I just thought you know I think what we're getting for the price is way better than what we're getting from for the same price last year so last year we got the GCVS dolls we got dolls with UV printed faces, meaning the face screenings were all pixelated. And we also got, we also, we got really good stands, I will say. GCDS stands were really good, but it was just, you know, we didn't get much for the price. You were paying $60.99 for a doll with one outfit and the UV printed face. And the dolls were well made. It was just the quality control of the faces that was a little off. And, you know, with these, you get... A mannequin stand you get a doll stand and a better doll stand I have to say and you get like all the other features that the designer dolls had like the certificate of authenticity and then you have a second outfit which the other designer dolls just haven't had and you also get more accessories with these you get a second pair of shoes with Yasmin I think this is well worth the price considering that it is a collaboration with a fashion house and it's, you know, it's supposed to be a little bit more luxurious than the other Bratz, like a standard Bratz doll. I mean, it is expensive, do not get me wrong, but I do think it's well worth it. Just based off what we got last year alone. But I'm really happy with these, and thank you again for watching. And really make sure to check out my article on lookinbrats.com slash blog. I am not saying that for my own health, I'm also saying it for yours. Check it out to see all the pictures that I've taken. And also check out lookinbrats.com. So that's lookinbrats, hold the G. And on lookinbrats.com, there's a database with nearly 10,000 products. It's going to be over 10,000 products by the time I finish updating it. And there's a huge revamp update coming. Be patient with me. There's a lot going on, but it's going to be really well worth the wait. And there's also character profiles, media profiles, articles, a ton of different things and there's also the master post that has all of the upcoming news that we know about so far and also make sure to follow me on socials at looking brats hold the g on facebook twitter instagram tiktok and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to this video and thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next video but make sure to stay tuned for the post edit wrap up to see a closer look of the dolls on video but until then, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Hey y'all, it's Post at a Dom. I feel like there's been a huge delay in me getting the Kokaya review up, but I have finally like really fixed them. I fixed them up back in December, but then I redid Chloe's hair. And I will just explain really briefly what I did with Chloe's hair. So I ran it under some warm water. I made sure it wasn't too hot because I did not want to lose the shape. I thought the shape was really good. And even now, there's still like some flyaways and stuff that I could like probably snip or just pull out. But I got to be really careful because if I pull out something, then the whole hair might just start to fray up. But yeah, I do think these are just ugh, gorgeous dolls, first of all. But yeah, with Chloe... Sorry, let me not get distracted yet. <laughs> but with Chloe, I did run it under warm water and then I conditioned it and I made sure to like really scrunch up the hair in my hands. And then I went in with a really wide toothed comb just to get out any tangles and to make sure everything really laid nicely. And then I sprayed some Dolphy Vokes wig mist on it so that it sort of held everything into place. And I think it turned out really good. There are like little things here, like this piece kind of bothers me, but I'm sure I can fix that at another point. I do think she did turn out really great. But here are my Colt Gaia dolls. I really wanted to show them in their second outfits. And something that I didn't really get to point out, I feel in the video now that I'm watching it back, was that I didn't talk much about the second pair of shoes or the lack thereof for Chloe. And I do really wish she came with a second pair of shoes. And there was a rip in her fabric here that I didn't fully notice until recently, and that bugs me, and I'm sure I won't really notice it sometimes, but I do notice it now. <laughs> but really just gorgeous, stunning dolls, and I feel like they're really underrated 
in my opinion, and I feel really awful that it took me such a long time to get this review up. I think I filmed it almost three months ago now, but I just got super busy and other priorities came about, and I also didn't know a really great time to upload this because it almost felt like the hype for Cold Gaia really did fade fast. But now I feel like it's a good time, and it's almost springtime, and I really felt like Looking back, I feel like Cult Gaia should have been a spring release rather than a fall release. I feel like it really got overshadowed by the likes of Series 2 and Girls Night Out and of course Moa Lola. Like these were such huge releases and I feel like Cult Gaia should have been given a more separate time to be a big release on its own. But otherwise, I do think these are really amazing dolls and they do go on sale quite often on Amazon and stuff, I believe. So if you can get them on sale, I definitely do recommend. Even if you paid full price, I feel like you'd be satisfied with these dolls. I think the only downside with a lot of the recent Bratz releases is that you can really only get them online most of the time and you can't really get to pick them out in person and get a really good face or, you know, just making sure that the quality is really there with your specific doll that you choose. So that's the only downside, but I still really highly recommend these dolls. I do think they are well worth it. And make sure to go check out that review on lookandbrats.com, which should be posted by the time this video is uploaded. So thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you all in the next video.